www.ecstrategies.com. Hello, this is Daniel Grady with a quick look at the markets for today, Friday, June 6th. Coming up on the economic calendar today at 7.15 in the morning, we have inflation data from Switzerland, which could generate some volatility in the Swiss franc. Then at 8.30 GMT, we have trade balance from the United Kingdom, which could have some uh, impact on the pound and on uh, British stocks. Then at 12.30 in the afternoon GMT, we have employment data from Canada, so we could expect some volatility in, uh, Can in the Canadian dollar. But what's going to get most attention is at 12.30 EGMT at the same time when we have uh, non-farm payrolls and unemployment data from the United States. This is a key component of the American economy. It's important for uh, Fed policy, so uh, we could uh, we're, we are expecting uh, some volatility around uh, at 12.30 GMT. And if we have significant miss over expectations here, we could see some strong movement in inequities. And then uh, there's some other ancillary economic data coming out at the same time. And then later in the evening at seven o'clock in the afternoon, we have consumer credit from the United States, but that's not expected to generate all that much volatility. Um, the S&P 500 uh, yesterday moved higher. Uh, a large uh, portion of this is due to expectations of uh, positive results out of uh, the non-farm payrolls coming out later today. Uh, during early trading today in the Asian session, Asian stocks continued to move higher. We had uh, some uh, good news out of China. And uh, going to the session today, S&P 500 futures are trading up by a further 0.2%, indicating a positive outlook for the day today. The euro, well, here we see the impact of the uh, policy decision by the ECB. Uh, initially, the ECB, uh, uh, initially the euro uh, moved on the downside against the dollar, heading towards our, our support level here at 134.80. Um, this was after the ECB uh, cut its uh, its deposit rate. Um, however, after that, the the, the uh, single currency rebounded heading, uh, and uh, topped out at our um resistance level here at 136.60 and it's since moved slightly on the downside uh we're looking at uh, support here at 136 and uh if this resistance level doesn't hold we could see the uh, the euro continuing towards 137. the pound the pound moved higher yesterday uh, we did have the uh, Bank of England policy decision yesterday, but a good deal of this is, can be attributed to arbitrage with the euro. Um, the pound is, is above uh, support, which we have at 167.80. Uh, and then above that, we have resistance at 168.70. Uh, and also, it's, we should point out that, it, that the pound is back into this uh, long-term channel that it's ma been maintaining. But if it closes below this, we could be seeing the uh, the pound moving sideways over the, the near future. The yen, um, the yen continued to gain some strength against um, against the dollar, and uh, that pushes this, pushes this uh, currency pair on the downside. It's above here. It's above our support level at 102. 27. If that level doesn't hold, it, uh, this currency pair could be going back down to our uh, range between support at 101.25, and then we have uh, resistance uh, for today at 102.75. And then we have gold, which had a little rebound yesterday, as we've been expecting a correction for a few days now. Uh, it came off of a support, which we still have at 1,240. Above that, we have resistance at 1,265. Um, RSI still showing that and, uh, gold is slightly oversold at the moment so we could see this correction continue for uh, the short term and uh, push towards our resistance level and that's it for today thanks for watching and happy trading